Are there major changes coming to Oilers management? Let's take a look. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Patrick. You're watching the Oilers Rundown. Just before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask if this is your first visit to the channel, or if you haven't had a chance to do so in a previous visit, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. I know we're all still down following the Oilers' elimination last night. I'm going to let that settle a bit more before I get into it. But after closing out the season, we have some immediate speculation to go over. Jason Greger and Frank Saravalli of Daily Faceoff and Oilers insider Bob Stoffer all hinted at some major management moves for the Oilers that may be in the works. The biggest potential move we could see would be current Oilers special advisor Steve Steos moving into the role of general manager next season, with Ken Holland finishing the final year of his contract, only serving as president of hockey operations. I've suspected something like this could be coming for a while now, it was just a matter of which guy the Oilers would look to insert as GM, with the three key candidates being Keith Gretzky, Steve Steos, and Brad Holland. It looks like Steos will be the guy, although, as I mentioned earlier, this is all only speculation at this point. I have to wonder if Keith Gretzky sticks around, as this would be the second time he was passed over for the role of GM. But I guess time will tell. The other changes mentioned were that Bob Nicholson is likely retiring this summer from his role as CEO of OEG. I think it's a move that's long overdue. And the other move was that we could see Dustin Schwartz removed as goalie coach. Does this open the door for Mike Smith? As I said before, time will tell. Let me reiterate again, this is all just speculation at this point, but I think all three moves make sense, and I could see them all coming to fruition in the coming weeks and months. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.